back to the uh, second segment of this very special show. I'm your host, Abul Hasnat, and I have a very special guest with me here today. For those of you that got to see the first segment, you got to see the farewell uh, party that took place, and um, uh, Mr. Anwar Chowdhury having his farewell party and leaving um, that very honourable role in, in Bangladesh as the British Ambassador. And um, um, j for those that have just joined me as well, just to recap that we, we're now talking about his role in, in Peru and how he's the British Ambassador there. And um, really, we, 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 just before the break, we, um, we sort of got interrupted by the commercial breaks <laughs> on um, um, the comparisons in, in life. But um, everyone's favourite topic. Uh, let, let, me just, uh, let me just stay on that. Before we look at the other things in the activity, food. Yeah, I mean, you just said the food. They they have a love of food, and I mean, no but doubt really you're love it. Not yeah, we are we uh, absolutely not just love of food. They are now renowned for food. So, two of the top world restaurants, two of the top ten world restaurants, are in Lima, mm -hmm. uh, and the Peruvians have made cuisine uh, one of their top sort of. Uh, notable selling things. Most people go to Peru to see the extraordinary country. So people go to Machu Picchu. There are more than um, 60,000 visitors from UK every year going to explore Peru. And that's going to rise now mm. uh, because we've got direct flights um, established uh, as of that's, last May. That's something actually really interesting because yeah. um, people were looking at 20 hour hauls yeah. um, to get to Peru. But yeah. th that's, ch that's changed now. Well, I'm really pleased to say that after 33 years, we managed to get British Airways direct flight from Gatwick uh, to Peru, and the journey is now six hours, five, six hours uh, shorter. So right. the two countries are literally closer now. Well, um, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's always ideal to get that, but the struggle in getting that sorted. Um, I mean, pe yeah. people are looking at convenience saying, oh, we've got it now, yeah. away you go. But no doubt, I mean, it, it, it took a lot of hard well, the work. Well, um, the embassy obviously helps in these things, but actually it's a British Airways, uh, it's a commercial decision. And it's an easy decision, I think. I think it will be a very profitable route uh, because, as I said, the thousands of people who go to, um, who go to Peru every year, and this is going to increase now. It's going to increase, uh, I don't know how much, but it is a very commercial and a profitable route, I would imagine. Um, and in fact, I took the flight back from Lima, uh, first time British Airways uh, to Gatwick. And it is an excellent, excellent flight. I really enjoyed it. it was, uh, uh, luckily, it was a very smooth, <laughs> no turbulence <laughs> thing. Uh, so it's now 11 and a half hours and you can get there. Um, I mean, um, just, just looking at sort of British tourism o going over to mm. Peru, uh, what, what figures are we looking at now then? Um, I mean, how many well, it was, uh, as I said, it was uh, around about 60, but I think that's going to go up to maybe 70 or so, or maybe, maybe wow. even more. Yeah, and, you know, equal... And we're talking 70,000. 70,000 a year. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, so that's a lot of tourists, and it's not just Brits who are going there. Obviously, a lot of Europeans go there, the Americans go there. It's an extraordinary country in terms of its geology. The Andes Mountains, they are just spectacular. You, there's no other scene like it. It's, some of it is like, um, um, from what is that, um, the, the, the famous um, uh, Indiana Jones movie? It's like an Indiana Jones. The Raiders movie. of the Lost Ark. Is Raiders of the yes, Lost Ark. Yes, uh, yeah. And I think the the last one was filmed in Peru. Uh, if I'm right, I think it's filmed in Peru. So it's that sort of, that sort of scenery. Mm. just takes your breath away. Uh, Sorry, uh, I'll correct myself. The Last Crusade. It last was the Crusade. Last Crusade. Yes, okay. that was filmed in Peru. Okay. That's right, yeah. Right. So, um, so you've got scenery like that. You've got a coastline that's thousands of miles long. And then you've got the Amazon forest. The Amazon River starts in Peru before it goes down to Brazil. So does the mm. forest. So it's one of those places that are very rare and remaining on earth that you need to you need to visit you must come <laughs> um, no i mean uh, I, i'm join, not sure join one of those 70,000 what i've what i've heard of it and what i've, I've actually uh, no doubt got a little insight into it, looked it up myself and it is it is phenomenal i mean um, i'm hoping we can probably share some pictures if they if they come up because um the, i i really want to spend time um on 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 mr chowdhury today and um, what he's doing out there, and I, I, I really forced him to give me some pictures out there. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get them up on the screen now. Um, uh, my technical team just working on that. While they are, um, there oh, there we go. Well, there we go. So, um, I mean, there, there you go. Well, George he came Osborne. to Peru. You George know, Osborne, there you this go, is our George. chancellor. So George Osborne beat us to it, and uh, <laughs> he went over to Peru. And, um, and 
And so did Paddington. I, I mean, I, let's, I mean, let's talk about Paddington there, because Paddington, which Paddington is that? That wasn't one that was made by Paper Mache by yourself. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I wish I did make that. That was outside number 10 wow. Uh, wow. in Whitehall, and we took it back. Now, Paddington Bear was born in Peru, and he came to London when he was a young bear and brought up by an English family. So everybody, every English child grew up reading Paddington stories. So Paddington is Peruvian. So I thought it would be great to take Paddington back to his uh, country of origin, although he's now British mm. and he's bilingual. Um, so <laughs> we use Paddington to, to teach English uh, because Paddington speaks fluent English, of course. Um, and uh, Peru has now got a national policy to become, it's one of the other things that I'm very proud of, uh, to become bilingual. The president of Peru, uh, Oyanta Humala, is excellent, Oyanta Humala, announced this policy a couple of years back. Mm. And um, so Paddington is helping us, and he's obviously a star attraction. Even the chancellor takes a photo with him when he goes to Peru. Oh, it's interesting. For those of you out there, how many of you actually read Paddington that far to know that he was <laughs> from Peru? So shame on you if you didn't. Um, but there you go. Paddington, yeah. Paddington has gone home. Um, not even E.T. could make it. So there you go. Um, we have some more pictures because yeah. you had some more guests over there. Um, okay. Uh, so if we, if so we go back up on the screen. Uh, th this is the, um, the very f uh, uh, famous uh, governor of Bank of England, Mark Carney. Uh, so he was um, in Peru as well, and uh, he absolutely loved this car. This is one of my embassy cars. It's known as the, uh, the British, uh, British Mini in Lima. It's very famous because of the flag on the top. Mm. And we drove around, uh, drove around in Lima in this little car. Um, and, you know, it turns. The British Mini is a fantastic icon for this country. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, and it's selling really well in Peru. Oh. It's, it's selling very well in Peru. And uh, since I bought that for the embassy, I have now seen four or five, and two of them with flags on the, on the, on the top like oh, that. So the flag isn't actually default, but uh, they're no, starting was, to come in. It's now wow. starting to come in, yeah. Brilliant. So it's, um, and we used it for the bond opening. <laughs> now, this is not bond. <laughs> I, I'm going to take you back up onto the screens because we have okay. some, a load more interesting questions. Now, there we go. There's, there's another side to you. Well, uh, this is me visiting the Amazon. And next to me is the British Honorary Consul, Joe Plum. Hmm. Uh, so he lives up in Iquitos, which is north of Peru. It's the beginning of the Amazon jungle. Hmm. And we get tourists there, so we have British interests there. In, in this, so he's, him and me taking a photo. Uh, this, and this is one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> in the middle of the Amazon jungle, there's an England fan. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. I did, this guy turns up from nowhere with an England shirt on. And he's understandably miserable. This is before we lost to Iceland, by the way. Oh, okay. Oh. So <laughs> he was, he, his misery was kind of foreshadowed in a way. And <laughs> I, I, I try to cheer this man up. Obviously, no chance because no, he, he's no, he stayed he, like he, that. He doesn't look very happy. But I'm wondering if the rest of the But it really made my there. day that we had an England fan in the middle of the Amazon jungle. I mean, how bizarre is that? Yeah. Well, this, is, this is still, uh, this is the beginning in that picture there, yeah. that river you see, that's the beginning of the Amazon River when it wow. starts. So, uh, um, so this is, this is, uh, this what, is the, it's the, uh, what do they call it? It's the uh, source, isn't it? It's the not, source it's the of mouth. the Amazon River. Wow. Not the mouth is the, I think, the other. Yeah, it's the, so it's the exit. So yeah, that's wow. how it starts. And it looks like, I tell you why it caught my eye. Because it looks like, for me, it looked like the Surma River in Silly. Wow. <laughs> you know, I still stood there. And I don't know why, uh, I look a bit silly in this because, um, I had a suit on, it was really hot, uh, you know, no, only an English diplomat would do this, you know, you, you don't go there, <laughs> you don't go there you with a suit and tie on, <laughs> so it was stupid. And, and your top button done up as well. And the top button. <laughs> <laughs> This is how not to dress in the Amazon, so please don't do that. No, we, 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 we commend you for actually yeah. upholding the, the diplomat look. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's keep going, because you know yeah. what, these photos absolutely amaze me. But um, I mean, here, here now, this is, this, um, we're now going to be looking at sort of your community involvement to a degree. Yes. Uh, well, this is, uh, this is us in um, Arequipa. Arequipa is, a, is the second major town. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. It's called the White City. It's made of white marble. This is the Archbishop of Arequipa, and we're in the cathedral mm. with my family, with my wife Momina next to me, and my honorary consul there, plus other dignitaries. Um, and and it's, it's, it's one of those fantastic cities. Mm. Um, ah, this is, uh, this is the president of Peru, uh, President Antahumala. Now, he's an extraordinary man. 
He's just about to finish his term. He finishes on the 28th. He's also a helicopter pilot. So I had the privilege of him personally flying me in that helicopter because he was in that's, the army. That's his very own helicopter. That's his very own helicopter. Which he, which he uses um, on a Saturday to go and get some <laughs> <bit> of milk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know, I'll ask him. <laughs> I said in London they asked whether he gets his milk with his helicopter. You know, we, we are so, us Londoners are so guilty yeah. of not knowing things like that because yeah. we're just so used to, right, someone of, of that calibre, you're driven around, no, you know, but he's got his own helicopter, he's taking you on a ride in it. Yeah. Um, no doubt he's probably shown a few skills to you as well. Well, he, he's a very good pilot because as he was coming back, he was flying, the Pacific Ocean is on this side, so he was flying quite low to the sea. Mm. And that, that takes skill. Because if you want to avoid radar, you go underneath the radar beam and fl fly close to the terrain or the, wow. or the sea. So I was praying. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a brilliant pilot. And, uh, and your, your sort of meeting with him led to something absolutely inspirational. Well, what, we, what we're doing in Peru, um, I am really excited about this. I spent my life... I did, my first degree was in electrical engineering. And I did electrical engineering for one thing in mind. I thought, if you can give people electricity, you can change their lives. The real life changer in today's world is electricity. If you get electricity, everything, cell phone, fridge, you know, TV, heating, air con it doesn't matter, it's all. So the single biggest step you can take in development is to give somebody electricity. And I've been, you know, following the solar development, and now we have a British system, solar system, and this is what the president and I went to see because we installed it in Peru, um, which means you can get electricity to people within 48 hours, okay? So imagine your village in, you know, Moment Singh, Silet, wherever it is. You never had electricity. Within 48 hours, you can have electricity. The, the battery is only this big, so that becomes like your generator because all the electricity from the solar panels gets stored there and that will last you for two or three days and it's getting continuously wow. stored. And you can transport it in a lorry, so you don't need, you know, uh, helicopters and planes. Or you can put it on a plane to take it if you wish. And within 40 hours, it's ready to go and all the maintenance you need is just to clean the dust. Wow. And, and the system has Wi-Fi, so you can sit in London and check how your power system, how your village electricity power system so is doing. How much is charged up? How much is charged up, whether there's enough left. You can sit here in London and look at Shunam Gonj, your <laughs> village, and say, yeah, my village is fine. If it's going wrong, you can get it fixed from here. So this will transform the world. And what I'm really proud of is that it's a British firm. The firm there is called Z Energy. And we were promoting that in, um, in, uh, in Peru, and we'll promote that throughout South America, in India, and I hope somebody will take it to Bangladesh as well. I'm no longer ambassador there, but... Well, um, no, I mean, it, it looks... It, could change it, lives. It, 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 that is no doubt a life changer. I mean, from, from what they got used to, where it was just get solar panels on and power up a few of your lights to now creating, so to speak, a reservoir of energy. We're going to have to go for a quick break. Oh. So um, <laughs> these breaks are coming thick and fast to arrive at that, or we're really enjoying ourselves. It's one or the other. <laughs> There's so much more for us to talk about. There's so much more in Peru that uh, uh, Mr. Chowdhury has, has got to share with us, and I no doubt... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it and I hope you are. So don't go away. We're going to go have a quick break and we'll see you very shortly. Very good.